Well, recycling is a simple thing, well, when we all do mm -hmm. that we can do to help the environment, but it is also a huge business. That's right, but in 2021, the industry is seeing dramatic changes, all powered by artificial intelligence. Stacey Delacat reports for our series, AI All In. This is called the Cortex. It's made by a company called Amp Robotics, whose goal is to improve how all that stuff we throw into our recycle bins gets sorted and ultimately sent off for a second or third life. For the first time, you can have uh, these systems able to identify things out in the real world uh, with uh, pretty much the same levels of performance as a person. Historically, people have stood along conveyor belts in recycling plants, separating our cans from our cartons and pulling out stuff that never should have been tossed in the blue bin to begin with. It's a pretty unpleasant job, to be honest. It's really hard. That's where the robot comes in. It's learned to look for things like logos, uh, different textures, different shapes. This is a lot of the same technology that's being used in autonomous cars, uh, some stuff with drones, uh, facial recognition. It comes at a time when the recycling industry as a whole has undergone a reckoning. After China stopped buying most recycled materials from the U.S. two years ago because of new purity standards, many municipalities and private haulers saw recyclables pile up with no market to sell them to. AMP's CEO, Dr. Matanya Horowitz, says this technology has helped. We can uh, help these facilities actually produce higher quality stuff. AMP's robots have fanned out across the world and are in about 40 different recycling facilities across the country, including one in Jersey City, New Jersey. It's definitely becoming more prevalent. Megan Smalley is the managing editor of the trade publication Recycling Today and has seen more and more recycling or material recovery facilities adopt artificial intelligence. A lot of, you know, recyclers and the manufacturers both attest that it does help with staff shortages. Robots can pick you know, just as fast as human sorters, if not faster. But the model of bringing in more robots to a facility begs the question. There's always going to be the argument that robots are taking jobs away from people. So is that the case here? I, I would be pretty confident that our robots haven't taken any uh, jobs, even though we're sort of uh, getting wider and wider deployments. Um, the issue is, is that um, so many of these facilities are run under staff to begin with. They're just saying, hey, like, I'm just so grateful that I can fully staff my, my facility. The technology comes at a cost, averaging around six to $7,000 a month to lease, according to Horowitz. Part of the reason why the robots are still not widespread in the recycling world. They're talking about this technology, not, I wouldn't say like the majority have applied this technology yet, though. Um, part of that's the cost, part of it's, it's not a solution that fits every single recycling facility. Recycling robots like humans aren't perfect and the technology is still very much a work in progress. But as artificial intelligence gets more precise and customizable, it could one day reshape this industry. Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News.